Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. MMA is a violent sport that fans watch to see knockouts and submissions, not for comedy. But every once in a while, there's a slip of the tongue or some outrageous event that has fans clutching their sides with laughter. Whether it's a cop checking out Maisha Tate's booty, or Sean O'Connell presenting a bouquet to his opponent and still getting his butt whooped, I can guarantee you'll find something on here that makes you chuckle. Let's have a look at the 10 funniest moments in the MMA. Number 10. Pervy Cop We're used to crazy things happening during weigh-in days. Whether it's boxing or mixed martial arts, there's usually some sort of madness about to go down. Usually there are wild brawls and heated stare-downs. Yes, McGregor, I'm talking about you. But sometimes things are caught on camera that isn't meant to be there. And these are the moments that make truly great viewing. For example, you guys remember the cop who went viral after being caught on film sneaking a look at Maisha Tate's booty? Yeah, that was something, right? It was during the weigh-in for UFC 196 when the police officer was on stage with Tate and UFC officials and just couldn't help sneaking a peek at Tate while she put her pants back on. It was just a quick glance, but not clever enough to escape the notice of the internet. Don't worry though, Maisha took revenge on the cop and made the joke come full circle. If you don't know what happened, Miss Tate tracked down the cop and remade the whole scenario once again, but with roles reversed, as this time it was Maisha Tate checking the cop's butt. Her sense of humor is unmatched, just like her skills and booty. The title, tomorrow's your big night. Give us your thoughts. Number nine, Joe Rogan. Love him or hate him, the UFC commentator Joe Rogan has the best seat in the house for all major UFC events. This isn't just on fight night either. He's also present during the weigh-in for one reason only, because there are a lot of hot women present there. He's been criticized repeatedly and gone viral just as often for taking peeks at the UFC female fighters' butts while they're taking off clothes or putting them on. For Joe, it's just too hard to resist, and he's been caught several times checking out the female fighters, especially when they strip down. Who am I kidding? Everyone checks the hotties there, but when he was caught staring at Maisha Tate, she didn't miss the opportunity to take a quick stab at the commentator. She didn't humiliate him though, she just made fun of his tweet and called it a night. He was also caught staring at Jessica Eyes butt, who was also calling him out after the fight by jokingly saying, I don't know why you can stare at my butt but never have me on your podcast. It's time to tone down the stairs, Joe, before it gets out of hand. Number 8. Dance Off Usually, weigh-ins are just stare-downs and posing for the camera like you have constipation. But in the case of Paige Van Sant and Michelle Watterson, a UFC weigh-in became the site of a dance-off, and to be honest, it was pretty great. Paige combined her love of dance with her love of fighting when she and her opponent went for their face-off before the fight. Van Zandt's challenger, Michelle Watterson, looked a bit uncomfortable with the dance-off at first, but after some encouragement, she not only got in on the action, but appeared to win when she pulled out the sprinkler as her finishing move. How cute are these two, man? Can anyone even tell these chicks break bones for a living? Such a lighthearted face-off wasn't expected between the two, but it's also not too surprising. Van Zandt, after all, isn't known as a trash talker, but that didn't mean the fight was peaceful and light. They did try to almost kill each other in the ring, but hey, at least they had some breakdance time. Creating chaos when she is going forward and being reckless. That's when she is in her element. Number 7. The Famous Shirt I know you remember this iconic moment for sure. Tito Ortiz and UFC President Dana White have cultivated quite the feud over the years. We all know how it started. Dana White initially acted as manager to the fighter until White dropped him to become president of the UFC. And since then, both have been in a state of war. It's been 15 years. The feud once reached its climax when Tito walked on stage for a weigh-in during UFC 84. As he removed his first top, he was seen wearing a shirt that showed a very indecent message toward the UFC president. He took his time to take that shirt off, and to his luck, White wasn't even on the stage. Otherwise, he would have started a fight this time instead of breaking one up. Number 6. Bouquet of Flowers Inside the octagon, MMA fighter Sean The Real O.C. O'Connell has amassed many wins. 
Outside of the ring, he's collected thousands of laughs, thanks to his pre-fight antics. O'Connell is the MMA's funny man, thanks to how he conducts himself during the weigh-in. O'Connell, who is an absolute master of the weigh-in gag, stepped up his comedy game by handing his opponent a bouquet of flowers during the obligatory face-off. This isn't the first time he did something like that. O'Connell has wrapped arms with opponents to share a drink, played a friendly game of rock, paper, scissors, and taken a selfie. However, if you thought this was a sign that the fight would also be a friendly affair, you'd be completely wrong, as Latifi floored his opponent with a tsunami of a haymaker just 30 seconds into their bout at UFC Boston. That's absolutely no way to treat a man who gives you a bouquet of flowers. Number 5. Women's Man Prize fighters have their respective reasons for why they choose to be in the profession they're in. Some are in it for fame and money, like Connor, and some are in it for the women, like the UFC featherweight fighter Teruto Ishihara. According to the fighter himself, he only got into fighting to attract good-looking girls from around the world. The weigh-in at UFC Fight Night Japan was no exception. Right before he stepped on the scales, Ishihara threw a short but sweet flirty wave at Filipino octagon girl Red De La Cruz. The girl seemed pretty pleased with it too. I'm sure they met for private weigh-ins after that. After winning a fight, in a post-match interview, he said, As long as I can KO someone and get girls, I'll do it all day. A bold statement, sir. Number 4. Mid-Fight Dancing this is another MMA fail worthy of our list. You must have heard the saying, don't get ahead of yourself and celebrate too early. For Joe Harding, it didn't mean anything. At the British Challenge MMA 18, he was apparently feeling too good. So good that after flooring his opponent, Johan Sega, he started busting out some dance moves in the middle of the fight. Shockingly, Hardy's showboating did not go as it was planned by him. He was so engrossed in flaunting his moves, he forgot he was in a ring. It didn't take Hardy long to realize that he should have been looking elsewhere, though. Sega's foot quickly connected with his jaw, making him drop like a sack of potatoes. And yeah, that was the end of the fight, as the kick resulted in a knockout. Poor Joe. Number 3. Frank Mir vs Brock Lesnar Some people think Frank Mir is good at what he does, while others see him and think he's nothing but arrogant. Whatever your opinion of him is, most would agree that Frank is pretty experienced when it comes to trash-talking his opponents. A fine example of this was when he was feuding with Brock Lesnar. Brock is one of the most terrifying people to ever grace the earth, so it takes a pretty brave trash-talker to cut down Lesnar. Mir won one fight against the Beast, which gave him a lot of confidence. He had absolutely no issues making fun of Lesnar in the second fight, and even went as far as to say he wanted Lesnar to die. Too bad the referee had to pull Brock off Mir's seemingly lifeless body in the ring. Learn to respect your enemies, kids. You wouldn't want to end up like Mir, right? And with that, it's time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and we want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. This is actually a WWE match, not related to MMA and UFC in any way. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but if it's what it looks like, I strongly condemn it. WWE used to show a lot of inappropriate stuff back in the day, and this picture is proof of that. Remember when Edge got in bed with Lita inside the ring, among hundreds of fans? Yeah, maybe that's why MMA fighters stick to fighting their own gender. Number 1. Ronda Rousey vs Beth Correa I don't know about you guys, but I just love trash talking in sports, especially when the sport is played between two fighters ready to kill each other. It gives even the most boring fights a life of their own. Witnessing athletes getting under each other's skin and gossiping about each other is just part of the game. Leading up to UFC 190 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, MMA megastar Ronda Rousey and Brazilian Betha Correa were preparing to fight in 2015. While talking about the whooping she was going to put on her for her home country, Correa crossed the line with her choice of words for Rousey. Beth Correa had made some inappropriate comments about Rousey's late father, but Rousey promptly made her eat those words. Once the fight began, Correa didn't just eat her words, she also ate a bunch of fists to the face, and Rousey knocked Correa out in just 34 seconds. I tell you, you don't want to mess with her at all. Which one of these moments did you find the funniest? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.